What's an anomalous coronary artery? It's an anomalous coronary artery. And note that that can cause sudden death in um, young individuals. Right? Uh, someone starts, older person, having crazy behavior and they are having memory problems. What's top on the differential? Dementia with Lewy body disease. Does antipsychotic therapy make dementia with Lewy body disease better or worse? It makes it worse, right? Antipsychotic therapy makes dementia with Lewy body disease worse. Um, what does negative predictive value tell you about a test? Negative predictive value tells you how likely a negative test is to be negative, right? Is there such thing as a non-preventable adverse event? Yes, there is. And then when those situations arise, you know, you got to save the person and you got to have um, obviously a good intention and proper management. Um, but some of these medications have adverse events that you know is going to happen. That's why it's a non-preventable adverse event. Right. Um... What kidney issue is associated with compartment syndrome? Acute renal failure, right? You get that because the rhabdomyolysis that's most likely happening. You got these muscle proteins going to the kidney. Kidney can't handle it. Acute renal failure. All right. If you have a concern for compartment syndrome, what do you want to get? Obviously, the extremity pressure, right? And what is the best intervention for compartment syndrome? Surgical, right? Surgical is very important for the prognosis. What's the first, like the most important thing that you need to do for someone with a heat stroke? You need to augment their evaporative cooling. Um, true or false, carotid breweries are associated with amaurosis fugax. That's definitely true. Um, is it okay for a baby to lose a certain percentage of weight, you know, in their first weeks of life or whatnot? Yeah, it is. About 10% should be fine, okay? Um, how do you treat stage T1A vocal cord lesion of squamous cell carcinoma? Treat it with a laser or radiotherapy, obviously, okay? Okay. Diabetes mellitus confounds the relationship between what two entities? Stroke and obesity. And highly likely it confounds other things as well. Freaking diabetes. What's the most common cause of bronchiolitis in children? RSV. Um, if you see a hemoglobin level increasing and a hematocrit level increasing, or basically super high when you get labs, what is a key test that you should check? The EPO level, right? Check the EPO level. Um, if the EPO level comes back normal, you can rule out what condition? You can rule out P-varia, but then you still need to consider chronic hypoxemia, right? That's secondary cause. What sort of disease associated with a cat can cause lymph node suppuritation? cat scratch disease, right? Um, if a mom, well not a mom technically yet, if a pregnant woman has hypothyroidism, what should you do for her? Basically reassure her for the most part. Look into that more if you feel like it. Um, if someone does well on a cardiac stress test, are they at high risk or low risk for cardiac events? Definitely at low risk. Um, if someone has active TB, do you want to treat them? Yeah, you want to treat active TB, TB with a multi-drug regimen. Um, if a patient comes into the ER with hematochesia and is stable, what's the first test that you should basically do? A colonoscopy. That's if they're stable, right? Um, how do you treat anion gap metabolic acidosis for the most part? You need four things. 
IV fluids, ketones, lactate, ABG. IV fluids, ketones, lactate, and ABG for agma. Uh, so if someone's on warfarin, you want to, uh, but had some sort of mm, clot or something, you want to replace with an low molecular weight heparin and you heparin before delivery okay so that's if a pregnant per okay so if you have a pregnant woman that is on warfarin you just need to stop that warfarin because it's a t teratogen replace that with low molecular weight heparin and give um the heparin unfractionated heparin before delivery if someone has sydenham korea um, you need to look more into that. How do you treat Sydenham Korea with penicillin? Yep. Um, mm, doxycycline, be aware of that. Supportive care for a sunburn is typically the treatment, right? If a female that's in childbearing age, wants to start taking isotretinoin, what two things do you need before starting? And this is a trick question. You need two negative pregnancy tests, yep. Um, you know about asthma, you should look into the treatment regimen. Um, if someone has multiple sclerosis, what sort of imaging do you want to get? An MRI of the brain and spine. You'll see temporal and Temporal and some other sort of heterogeneity. Look into it. How do you treat multiple sclerosis? With methylprednisolone, right? Symptoms! Exclamation! Um, Long-term treatment for multiple sclerosis is with what? A beta interferon. That's why, that's why, you see... Um, do patients with, do female patients with multiple sclerosis typically have increased chances of requiring birth aid with delivery? Definitely. What's the first line of treatment typically for muscle spasms? Starts with a B, baclofen. Um, if someone has obstructive sleep apnea, do you want to rule out respiratory failure under an ideal situation? Yeah. Um, there will, FYI, there will be decreased focal uptake with subacute thyroiditis. Um, what medications are good to treat? Subacute thyroiditis, there's two of them. NSAIDs and beta blockers, right? A hysteroscopy with a defect repair decreases, so you want to rule out a spontaneous abortion. You know about erislapolis? You can, can you imagine what it looks like? I can. It's, it's kind of funny. I like saying erislapolis because it's like pow and you know where it's at. Um, and if someone is in need of a vaccine, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, what are you going to do? Give the vaccine. Don't even think about it. Save yourself the minute. Give the vaccine. All right? All right.